Hey everyone, welcome back to the long dark. Um, we're here in the cave between Mountain Town and Mystery Lake, starting episode number three. Um, we do have to get going here because it is coming up to nighttime now. Um, I think I did say I wanted to start a fire. So let's go ahead and do that in a second. See how far we can get through this cave. It doesn't seem far. So we'll have to um, we'll have to take out our torch here and start another fire. All right. So our ultimate goal right now is to get to Trapper's Cabin. Um, obviously a good goal to have. We want to get there. Preferably sooner rather than later. Oh, nice. We are warm in here. 47. Okay, great. So I guess we didn't really have to start a fire, but it's good to have anyway. Um, we can pick up a lot of the coal. I'm willing to sacrifice one match for one one piece of coal. That's fine. Um, all right. Oh, nice. Here we go. Two pieces right there. That's awesome. Okay. Um, we're going to keep the pace up here. Like I said, the sun is going down. The moon's coming up, so... Hopefully we'll get to, um, to Trapper soon. It's not a, too far of a walk, but, you know. We're not that tired either, surprisingly. Not that tired at all. So that's good. That is always good. Um, so I guess we really don't have to sleep, um, anytime soon. And I think I'm going to take that into... I think I'm going to use that to our advantage and try to get some rabbits. Um, rabbits are good. Probably going to start a fire and cook them anyway. Um, so, might as well make use of the fire, right? Go ahead and toss that down. Get this one going. Yeah, I had the intention of starting a fire because it looked like we were cold in the cave when we walked in, but you go deeper in the cave. Oh, it's actually not that warm. I guess it just changes every uh, few meters or something. Nothing on this person. Uh, what, what is it in here? Yeah, 37. I don't know. Super weird behavior. Um, yeah, I'm for sure going to take all of the coal. Uh, anything this way? Piece of coal? No? Nope. Alright, so how much coal are we packing here? Eight pieces. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll probably find more, though, as we um, work our way through Mystery Lake. I think we're probably going to end up going for the camp office, too, at some point. I mean, we kind of have to. It's, it's on the way. Um, it's tough not to. All right, so it is windy out here, and I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that at all. So I think what we might do is we might throw the torch down. Uh, torch is okay. It has a little bit of life on it. Go outside, see how windy it really is. Yay, it's pretty windy, yeah? Um, well, that's a little unfortunate. That is a little unfortunate. I'm really almost just tempted to start a fire in here and grab the rabbits and come back. Um, I think that's what I might do. Because when the fire, or when the weather relaxes outside, we can always transport this fire back into the um, driver's cabin. So that might be a good idea. Um, we'll have to play our cards just right for this one. But I think we can manage... Let's go ahead and start this fire. Uh, oh, nice. First try. I'll take it. All right. So 56 minutes on that. I think I'm just going to put on a few more, to be honest. Now, let's go ahead and drop. Ooh. No teas, huh? No teas, guys. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem. That is most definitely a bit of a problem. Um, so we're going to put our rabbits there to cure. I'm going to go ahead and make some rose hips i'm gonna make one batch 15 minutes nothing crazy and then we'll go ahead and put it on the fire um where is the pot there we go Cook that for 10 minutes do some chores in the meantime here get some stuff done i'll tear that one up as well it does sound like the wind relaxed so if the wind did relax i'm really just tempted to grab torches off of this and take it back into the trapper's uh, cabin that would be good Five until ready. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put this down. All right. Um, all right, let's head outside. Let's see what's going on. Uh, do I want a torch with me? Probably do. Probably do. You never know. But I have a feeling that... I have a feeling that it probably won't be as windy. I'm not really hearing anything. Um, okay, now would be the time to take it to the to the trapper's cabin. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
Eh, it seems a little risky, right? It seems a little risky. You know when I walk outside the door, uh, it's going to immediately put my torch out. Um, but let's go ahead and... Whoops. Can't be doing that. All right, let's leave 16 minutes on the fire. I know I could take one more torch off of it, but I'm not going to. While the weather's nice out here, eh, it's not nice anymore. Uh, you know, I don't know why I even try. <laughs> it, it didn't even sound windy. All right, whatever. That's fine. Okay, well, it's a good place to be. It's a good place to be. We're not far from trappers, so if we need to, to run there, we can. Not a big deal. Um, I do want to get more firewood. So that's a thing. Go ahead and put that down. Alright. How are we looking for water? Not bad. Not bad at all. I drink a little bit. Uh, 15 minutes. Burrow we're claimed on. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make another reishi. Just because we... I don't think we have antibiotics on us, and if we get food poisoning, that would be pretty bad. So, it's always good to have a little extra. A little extra going for you. We'll put that down as well. And we'll go ahead and grab the pot and put that... Yeah, put the reishi in there. Awesome. Anything else we can do? Any crafting? Any chores? No? Okay. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and just peek outside. Yeah, food's not really looking looking great either, unfortunately. Uh, change in wind direction, that's always good, but not what I really need right now. I'm just going to go over here. Usually there's a chance for a coal. Just a coal to spawn on the, uh, on the back ledge here. Uh, hey, though, I'll take the sticks, right? Sticks are good. Sticks are delightful. Man, I cannot see anything over here. My gosh. All right, not not trying to spend too much time here, just enough to uh, to see what's going on. Yeah, we're already at half. Go ahead. Is that another stick? It is. All right, and another stick. See, it was worth coming out here. What are we looking at? Negative thirty-seven, guys. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not end game cold yet, but it's gonna get there pretty quick, and then some. So, gotta be a little mindful of that. Want to get the forge going as soon as we can, you know. Um, all right. That's good. Yeah, take that off. Definitely. Don't want that burning. That would be interesting. Um, I really want the rabbits. I really want them right now, but I don't think we're going to be able to get them. Not until at least later. So unfortunately, I do think we probably have to let this fire go out. Um, pretty sad, but I'm not going to waste my firewood on it, you know, and hopefully there's matches inside of trappers. We're packing 17 matches on us. So, I think we're okay for now. Um, I'm just more concerned, I think, about the firewood situation. Because if we get caught outside, we're going to need all of this. So, I don't want to keep feeding it onto the fire here. So, we're going to go ahead and let that let that go down. Um, it shouldn't be cold in here, in theory, right? It shouldn't be too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and eat something. Wow, all of this food absolutely sucks. Um, go ahead and eat that. Okay. Some of that. Yeah, that's that's embers. It's going to have to stay like that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm really tempted to pick up the rabbit pelts, too, so I don't forget them. But I think I'm going to leave them. Um, it's going to be too dark to read, so I probably shouldn't do that. Try it. It's going to be too dark. Yeah, too dark. Okay. All right, well, that's going. Let's go ahead and take another peek outside. If it's good, I'll... I'll consider trappers. No. All right. Well, it's cold in here, really. Oh, just by one degree. Come on now. It was warm back here. What's good with that? What's up with that? Come on. Oh, boy. All right. Well, unfortunately, it's going to have to be something we deal with. 31 in here still. Yeah, what's what's the problem here? Is it warm over here? No, it's not. 31. All right, well. What can you do, right? What can you do? Um, really nothing. Really nothing. 
I'd love to pick up maybe our stuff and find it. <laughs> um. All right, this is the campfire. Tea's got to be around here. There we go. There's one of the teas. It might be a little crazy drinking it now, but I think I think we're gonna. It's hot. I don't want to be uh, to be sitting here. And while we have the tea going, I think we're just gonna go ahead and run to trappers as fast as we can. I don't know if I put another tea down. I can't see one. Oh, I did. Okay. Let's go ahead and run to trappers as fast as we can. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's definitely the right move. We cannot stay in that cave. There's no bed. There's trappers right there. I see it. Uh, and these bunnies are probably gone anyway. So, we're not missing anything. Cool. Alright, that was a good call. I do have to say, that was a good call. Okay. Let's start looting a little bit. We have, uh... We got a little time. A little time before we have to go to bed. Um, any food in here that's not horrible? Dusty, I'll take it. 69%, not bad. Hey, a can opener. All right. Nice. That's a that's a little bit of a game changer. Not gonna lie. That's a little bit of a game changer. Uh, granola bar, is it good? 59%, okay. Yeah, can opener. Awesome. Really, really happy about that one. Um, that's one of the, the good items early game that you can find. Along with plenty others, but those are definitely the game changer item. For sure. Um, I'm not seeing any matches. A book is good. Books are good. Um, fortunately, I don't see anything else. Okay. So, while we have the hunger, let's go ahead and eat something real quick, and then we'll go ahead and sleep. I'm going to take a chance on the 40s. The 40s don't look horrible. Okay, that's good. And I'll also eat that as well. Um, and I'll drink up as well. May as well. Okay, and now let's do two hours, because I'm scared. Basically paranoia, but, you know, it's dead man. You can't blame me for it. Okay, good. Blizzard stopped. Uh, I'll do another two hours. Sleeping's also good for saving hunger as well, so usually if you don't have to sleep, it's good to sleep because, uh... oh, nice guys, well fed, awesome. But yeah, like I was saying, it's always good to sleep. Um, Aurora? Question mark. I think so. I think so, but I also think it's too cold to go outside. Probably far too cold. So I think while we have the hunger, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. Put in three hours. Get a little risky with it. Wind died down. Now would be a good time to get rabbits. Okay, not bad. Sun's coming up. It's going to be brutally cold outside. Brutal. Go ahead and take another three. Okay. Awesome. That's searched. Looks like there's nothing really... Nothing else to see in here for now. Oh, firearm cleaning kit. Well, that's not going to be useful to us. <laughs> hmm. Not sure why uh, why that would be in the game if rifles and revolvers aren't in the game. But I have a feeling it's probably a bug, so I'm just going to leave it. Literally makes no difference to us at all. Um, okay, so let's take a little bit of time just to think about what we want to do. It's probably cold outside. If I had to guess, it's probably about negative 30 or 40. Fahrenheit, so it's going to strip the temperature pretty good off of us. We have four rocks, so we can do some rabbit hunting if we want to. Um, I might even go ahead and just eat a few cattails. That way we don't slip into hunger while running around trying to get rabbits. But once we get the rabbits, we can bring them in here and cook them safely. Um, that shouldn't be an issue. Hey, a sewing kit. All right. Um, oh, another candy bar. That's new as well. Awesome. Okay. It does sound like a blizzard, though. It does sound like a blizzard. It could just be windy. Yeah, it is just windy. Okay. So it's zero. Um, that's cool, I guess. Let's go ahead and get some rabbits if we can. What are we looking at? Negative 32, so I was right. 
Go ahead and get some rabbits at the at the least, maybe some firewood as well. Come on, rabbits, where you at? Okay, one's over there. I'm just gonna to run run him over, or run over to him rather. Thank you, sir, for your sacrifice. It, it will not go unnoticed. Um, okay, and then his buddy's here. Um, oh, guys. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tight. Oh, nope, not doing it. He ran. He ran. We'll have to uh, do it some other time. All right, we got one. One's better than nothing. Can't complain. Um, but yeah, we had one shot. You know, it was too cold. We couldn't do the other one. No way. Um, so we do have the hacksaw. So let's go ahead and take 19 minutes to do that. We'll get some some uh temperature back okay that's good so let's go ahead and leave that there um it could be a mistake going back out to try for the other rabbit but the wind did stop yeah so it's not as cold as it could be it's still cold but it's not brutal so we'll go ahead and see if we can get this other rabbit here um i'm gonna try not to sprint if i can obviously you know if we're gonna if we're about to take damage i'm gonna sprint but i'm not gonna sprint right now anyway he might have despawned. Um, usually that's something that happens. But I'm not sure. Rabbit spawns are usually a little tricky anyway. I gotta watch that, that temperature. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing him, so I'm gonna say that that's a despawn right there. Um, we'll go ahead and walk it back. Yeah, that's probably a rabbit despawn. That's unfortunate. We really did have a shot there at getting two rabbits, but um, me being in a little bit of a hurry accidentally scared him, so that's okay. We'll go ahead and cook the one little meal we got here. Should probably be searching just after I do the after I cook the rabbit here. All right. Let's go ahead and use that. Um, we'll use one of our 17 matches down to 16 now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the book. The book is pretty heavy. I don't really want to be carrying it around, even though they are good to have. Um, but there's going to be a, a few books, I think, in the camp office and in the cabins around Mystery Lake if we choose to go ahead and loot them. Let's go ahead and put that fire away. Awesome. Cool. Uh, I did get sticks for a reason, so let's go ahead and pile most of them on. Do eight for now. Um, we'll go ahead and use that pot, and we'll use that pot. We'll get some double, uh, cooking action going here. Cook that, and then cook that. Awesome. Cool. Now, we do have an option to tear this guy down for another pelt. I'm actually going to drop the two rabbit hides right here. Rabbit pelts. I'm going to put them near the front door. That way I don't forget them. Um, but that is an option, you know. Four minutes. It's a really small meal, guys. It's super small. This is nothing big at all. Let's go ahead and break that down as well. Might as well get some firewood while we're spending some firewood. Um, just stick on. That. It'd be really awesome if that other rabbit would spawn back in. That would be pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and break that one down. We'll get nice and warm. Awesome. Um, I wouldn't even be opposed to putting some uh, some teas down as well. That would probably be good. We don't have any. I'm going to make a coffee. Um, that's good. Ten minutes. I don't really trust myself for that not to be burned, but let's go ahead and take the chance anyway. Got to see if that rabbit's there. I don't think he'll be here, but you have to try. Um, we also have a hacksaw, so we can cut down those birch saplings. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, get the birch starting to cure. We want to find maple, ultimately. That that would be amazing to find. But beggars can't be choosers in this uh, in this mode. I'm sure a lot of you know that. Oh, there you go. Look at all those sticks right there. Uh, I almost like those over the rabbit. Let's take them. Um, some birch bark, which is completely useless to us. That's cool. I gotta be careful, maybe like a wolf over this hill. Oh, there's the rabbit right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going for it. We're going for it. Hi, rabbit. Can I offer you some business, sir? Nice. Get the rabbit. Quick. 
and we'll go back in uh, and go ahead and get the coffee. Nice, guys. Okay. Just a quick temperature check for my curiosity. Negative 19. Negative 19. Interesting. Okay. Duck back in here. Oh, boy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll go ahead and put the coffee. This is a coffee. I'll put that down. Good. 30 till burn. Not on my watch. There's the other rabbit. Awesome, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and put the birch saplings over here as well. Uh, four of them. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. You'll love to see it. Okay. All right. 2.9. Not bad. Not bad. That's a good meal right there. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No. Oh, no. That was my fault. That was... I take full responsibility for that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that, that, that's rough right there. That is rough. Um, well, since that's the case, since that is the case, I'm going to go ahead. What, what, what are we looking at? Late morning? Yeah, you know, I was going to say maybe we keep the fire stopped until we want to go travel. So we'll light one up, cook the rabbit, and also cook the teas. But I think we're going to travel basically at any point throughout the day, so... Yeah, that's that's really tough right there. That's that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, we're going to have to spend another match here. It pains me. I tell you, it pains me. But we got some good loot, um, loot locations along the way coming up. So hopefully we can find many more packs of, uh, of matches here. We also have to start utilizing that, mag that uh, magnifying lens as well. Um, that's going to be important as well. So yeah, that's tough, man. That's tough. You live and learn, though, right? It's like I said last episode. You, you make mistakes and you uh, you learn from them. So hopefully I learn to check the fire more often. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And this torch needs to learn to start a fire. Come on. Oh, boy. If we fail a third time, though, it's not even going to surprise me. I've done it multiple times before. Come on. Yeah, that, that, that match usage is going to haunt me forever. That's that's bad. That's bad. I can't be doing that. That that hurts more than 8 a.m. calc classes. It's bad. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and put that on. That's 29 minutes. That should be good. Um, those aren't going to take more than maybe 10 minutes to warm up, so we should be fine on that front. I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Mm, don't want to cook the rabbit carcass. I'll cook that, though. All right. Six minutes, good. Take the ruined torch. That's two minutes right there we can do. Gotta drink a little water as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just drink a little bit. Awesome, eat that. Nice. So another thing I maybe wanna start doing is maybe start hooking up some rabbit snares. That could be useful to us. That could definitely be useful, but we just have to... Uh, you know. Oh, nice. Cooking, too. Um, we just have to find a spot to put them, basically, is the trouble. So. Ooh. Weather calmed. Um, two rabbits there. We got two pelts here. Interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit of a dilemma. Do we take an hour and 20 minutes to harvest both the rabbits? Or do we travel in this, you know? I'm going to go ahead and say we probably wait for a little bit longer in the day i know it's probably not a smart idea because now we're gonna end up getting getting like pinned down and stuff but i don't know it's a risk that i'm willing to take so let's go ahead and do that um the coffees are hot we got an hour and what was it an hour and 17 on the fire so let's go ahead and do the 40 minutes for that these pelts are gonna pay off pretty big in the long run so i'm not too mad about it um okay that's another 50 minutes Go ahead and do that. Now, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, well, the late day is going to be nice and sunny with no wind. But we all know how likely that is not going to happen. Go ahead and just put that into think. Um, we could go ahead and get the safe. The safe is definitely something I might want to do, but there's usually never anything good in there anyway. But you just never know until you look. Oh, this is nice prime weather to move. This is very prime weather to move, but I think we're going to resist right now. Um, drink a little bit. That's good. 
What is that? Oh, I thought that was something. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just put that there. It, this item has literally no use to us at all. Um, I do have a feeling it's a little bit bugged out. But it's okay. We're just not going to play with anything we find that is uh, not Dead Man style. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to crack into this safe. I normally hate doing these things. It's so tedious. So tedious. So let's hope we can just do this under 50 minutes. Because that's the fire duration. Uh, I like to do two at a time. There we go. That way, if it clicks, I do have enough time to stop and process what just happened, basically. Um, yeah, I gotta be honest with you guys. Opening safes in the long dark is probably my least, least favorite thing to do in this game. Ooh. It's so tedious. I just can't, I can't stand it. You miss one, you're done, right? Because if we miss it here, I... Completely just don't know the numbers. I'm only going when the lock unlocks, so. Come on, lock. Oh, I almost went past it. All right. Um, pry bar. Accelerant. Eh, well, it's not terrible. We're going to go ahead and just leave one pry bar, though. Um, that's good. 34 minutes on that. Okay. Well, I got to be honest. I really want to move. I really, really, really would like to move in this. Look at this weather. I mean, that's that's getting to um to the camp office weather. So I don't know. I say we go ahead and make a move. Go ahead and make a move. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take both of our pots back, even though we're gonna find probably numerous at the camp office. So maybe I'll leave one. I'm gonna leave the rabbit carcasses. I'm gonna remember to take the pelts this time and everything else. Uh, that should be everything. So let's go ahead and move. Okay. All right, and we're off. Uh, yikes. I should not be doing this on Dead Man, but I am anyway. All right, I don't learn sometimes, right? You never learn. I never learn. Um, I do have to be honest, though. This does look like weather that wants to start, you know, blowing around, basically. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. I knew it. Oh my gosh. It's absolute clickbait. That's what this weather is. It's clickbait. Um, okay. Well, this is a little unfortunate. You know, it's funny. It's unfortunate, but it's so predictable, right? It's so predictable. Well, we're going to move anyway. It is really nice in the windshade. It's really, really nice. So let's just go ahead and maybe take advantage of it. Try to get behind a tree here. I'm actually going to go ahead and drink one of these. Um, it's kind of seems like a waste, but I'm not turning back. I think we're just going to have to press on. If the torch goes out, the torch goes out, right? Uh, let's go ahead and throw that down. As far as I know, the torch doesn't go out if it's on the ground. I could be completely wrong, but I just wanted to get into the wind. Nope, it went out. Okay, well, that, that myth is debunked. Instantly. This wind can relax, though. It's literally a headwind. Like, come on. It could have been anything, right? Alright, so we do have a flare. Usually, I wouldn't pick up flares if it was, like, stalker or something, but... Um... I don't know. I like flares, this, this game mode. <laughs> I must say. I do like flares. But... Alright. Let's keep it moving. I'm really hoping to find at least just one piece of coal, maybe. Like, on the side here. That would be cool. Yeah, look at how, like, warm it is in the in the shade. Look at this. It's only 20. Not bad. Just get on the, on the rock face here. We do have a coffee as well. I don't really want to burn through all my coffee right now. But we might have to, because it's the only other one we warmed up. So. Okay. Uh, we should be okay in the windshade. We should be. Alright. Just gotta hope for no wolves, basically. Oh, nice piece of coal. Let's go. Awesome. That makes it worth it. <laughs> I'm also looking for a maple sapling, too. If we can find one of those, that would be uh, really good. 
All right, so let's stop here. I'm gonna go ahead and drink the tea, or the coffee rather. Give us a little bit of warmth back and give us some energy. So now if we have to sprint, we should be a little faster um, because we're not too encumbered. Okay. All right. So, in terms of wildlife, um, I'm not too sure. Not too sure at all. I don't think there's going to be a wolf up here. I haven't heard any. But we all know that that really doesn't mean anything. I have a feeling they're down there. They're usually always down there. Can we, can we not... Uh, can we reset the sprain risk here? Awesome. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do... It seems a little... I don't know. It seems a little extra, but I'm just going to do it anyway because it's more comfortable that way. We are going to go on the other side of these train cars and we're going to walk alongside the wall here um, just because the windshade is going to be a lot better. Um, I hate taking this, you know, three arrows down stuff. Hey, simple tools. Um, that's not bad. We'll take them. Probably not going to use them, but we'll take them. Yeah, look at this. Look how much nicer of a walk this is, huh? That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to go off the assumption that there's going to be no wolves over here for now. Down the railroad tracks, though, might be a different story, so I'm probably going to break out the crouch walk, but it should be okay. We should be fine. In theory. 20 degrees. Hasn't really warmed up. Time of day... Okay, just afternoon. Yeah, these wolves have crazy detection distance, so I'm not even going to try to um, to just kind of walk this. No way. Not doing it. Uh, up there might be a, a ticket. But I'm not going to do it. Let's just take it easy. Gotta be careful of this sprain risk, too. I'm not sure if a sprain actually lowers your condition or not when you get one. I would, I have a feeling it doesn't, but I'm not totally sure. I must say, though, I'm not a fan of the wind blowing my scent in the direction of the wolves, perhaps. That isn't really good. I'm not sure if they can't, if they, if the scent does travel because I'm windshaded. So technically, I guess the wind maybe wouldn't capture my scent, but I don't know. With the mechanics in this game, there's so many mechanics, it just wouldn't surprise me. Um, all right. So I do have to admit, just right off the bat, I'm going to be perfectly honest here. It's a little strange that there's no wolves. It's a little strange. Um, because there's no wolves here, it makes me think that they're all going to be on Mystery Lake. Basically. So, that's a little... That's not concerning, but it's just something to keep note, basically. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that to reset my sprain risk. Don't want any sprains right now. I'll walk down here. Alright, we're looking good. Yeah, I mean, that call to cut across the, uh, the train cars to... To get the wind out of the wall here. That was good. That was a good call. So, um, I will give myself credit for that one. That was good. It's a rare W for me. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Um, I'm actually going to go out of my way too to pick up these sticks. Because sticks are good. Two degrees. Yep, yeah, that's cold. Alright. Get behind this rock again. 22 degrees, not too bad. Yeah, listen to that. They're all in the lake. Looks like my hypothesis may have been correct. I'm going to just go ahead and use the remainder of this heat bonus to pick up any outdoor objects. So sticks, any rose hips too. That would be good. Yes, awesome. There are some rose hips. Good. 
Great, splendid. Splendid, splendid. Alright, and now that we're done traveling, the, the wind calms down. As it, as it would, right? As it would. Oh my gosh. Alright. Um, well, since it's not too bad right now, I'm going to go ahead and head down here for some cattails. I don't see any, though. Oh, there's two right here. Yeah, got got to use your temperature to the best of your, you know, capability, I guess, right? So, that was good. That's an extra 300 calories right there. It's something. It's not much, but it's honest work, right? Nah, it doesn't look like anything's up there either, so. All right, let's go ahead and head in. Ooh, just making it, too. With two down. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, hey, early interloper weather, basically, is what we're getting right now. So, we got to take, we got to move all we can. Wow, look at that long whetstone. Oh my gosh. Another maglins as well. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This is a strange item. Very strange. Um, I don't know. We'll roll with it though. Um, do I have a whetstone on me? I do not. So, I don't know. Might as well take it, right? Until we have to dump it somewhere. That's so weird. I've never really uh, seen that long whetstone too often. 31 in here. Yikes. Okay. I'm going to actually just go ahead and cut all this stuff out real quick. And let's go up here and see if we can find any clothing. If not, I'm going to start a fire right away. Some matches would be good too, but clothing obviously is the ticket. Ticket of the item. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Let's just find matches or clothing. Please. One of the two. Please. Nope. Not going to be in there. Uh, soda. Okay. Yeah, we're, we ain't going to find any clothing. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting uh, position to be in. So what would be the best thing to do, probably? Uh, I'm going to say probably start a fire. Probably start a fire. Maybe I can start a fire outside if it's clear, but I'm not going to take a chance with that. So I think what I'm going to do is just... Whoops. Let's start one up right here. We'll use the 13%. That's fine. Burning through matches, guys. Burning through matches. Not a fan of it. Not a fan. Down to 15, I believe. 15 or 14. One of the two. Go ahead and use one of our books. Yeah, not a fan. We'll find more as we go, obviously. But, you know, early game matches are very, very crucial. You can survive without matches, though. You can do that. We have two maglins on us. A little ridiculous. I think I'm actually going to leave one here. But, all right, cool. Um, so what's our clothing like? Okay, we have no other hat. So I'm really tempted to make that um, that other one there. What's it called? Oh, it's like the, the improvised hat wrap or something like that. Um, I'm tempted to do that. So, yeah, that could be something. Um, what to do, what to do, right? First of all, probably try this up for, for a stick, you know? We got to eat a little bit, but nighttime's coming, you know? Nighttime's coming. So I think we're going to just stock up on firewood, to be honest. Stock up on some firewood. Spending your sticks is not a way to stock up on firewood, but it is what it is. All right. We got 43. I'm going to break down the other box as well. Having reclaimed on you is always, always, always a good thing. Can't stress that enough. Um, Okay. We do have the rest of this place to loot as well, so we got to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put one of the reclaimed on. We only got two reclaimed. Peace. All right. Um. Okay. We could use this as a food poisoning night, to be honest. Like, the minute we get food poisoning, we got to drink that tea, though. You know what I mean? And we have to sleep. I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'm dedicated to that. Like, I, I just don't know. So we'll have to, um, I don't know, we'll have to see. Let's just go ahead and finish doing all this. Hey, herbal tea, awesome. That's really good. Any food? Doesn't look like it. Got another pot. I knew we'd find another one. All right, let's go ahead and get some of this stuff here. Usually there's nothing in here, but, you know, maybe a pair of gloves found their way into the, uh, into the filing cabinet. 
No, that is a negative on that. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, alright. Cool. Alright, well, that, that's it for this place, basically. Dabba -da -da, that's all, folks, right? Uh, yeah, that guy searched. Okay. Cool. Well, then. No bedroll, either. That's another thing. No bedroll. Um, I don't know. What can you do, right? What can you do? Uh, go ahead and get organized here. Let's put that on there. Awesome. Okay. So. Gallon 85. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of that. Let's go ahead and just fix that. 15 minutes to boiled. Okay. So it is going to be nighttime pretty soon. Uh, maybe we can start finishing up the book. Whoops. I messed that one up. That's okay. Okay. I'm actually going to let that fire go out, I think. It was kind of a waste of a match. I'm not even going to lie. But then again, we kind of had to. We really didn't have a choice. Um, so I'm going to go here. Let's go ahead and do the improvised head wrap. That's what I like. Go ahead and make one. That should take us over um, when we put it on. So that's good. Almost two degrees, guys. That's a big difference. Yeah, see? Look at it. That's the difference between warming up in camp office and freezing to death. Look at that. 33 now. So we can stay in here comfortably. That's awesome. That's really good news. Um, Honestly, I think I want this on the inside. Put that on the inside and then this on the outside. Oh, can I not do that? All right, well, whatever. Yeah, awesome. Good place to be. Not a bad place to be. Um, I'm actually going to take some of this, I think, and tear it up for some cloth. Or some tinder, rather. Um, we do have to eat, though, unfortunately. It is that time of day. But we do have a can opener. So we can go ahead and eat, you know, cans that we normally would be very hesitant to eat. Still pretty hesitant about the dog food and uh, that there. I might go ahead and eat that, though. That could be worth it. Or not worth it. I don't really know. We'll find out in a second. Please don't get food poisoning. Please don't get food poisoning. Okay, good. Zoinks. <laughs> that could have been interesting. For both of those there. Cool. All right. Awesome. So we do have a little bit of energy left. Let's go ahead and spend that on the book. Um, nope. The other one. There we go. We'll read an hour. Could read another hour if we want to. Um, I guess this is just kind of a form of passing time, I guess. We're, we're, we're really just waiting for tomorrow, basically, right? So, um, ooh, get risky with it? Do another hour, maybe? Perhaps? Let's try it. I think we'll, yeah, we should get away with it, fine. Nice, guys. So we only have one more hour to read of that, and then we can dump it. So that's good. That's always good. Um, all right. So, let's go ahead. I'm really tempted to eat that. My luck is going to run out with food poisoning eventually. Um, we'll hang on to it. <laughs> we'll hang on to it. Right, let's go ahead and eat all that. That's good. I could probably eat that as well. Um, that's death fish, but you might as well. Okay. Good. Drink up. Glad we made that water, though. We're probably going to have the same amount of water halfway through the night as we did before we cooked water. Um. All right. So, just after sunset, let's go ahead and put in a few hours while we can. Nice warm bed, guys. You see that? It's almost 11 degrees bonus. Wow. Man, that's better than my college dorm bed. <laughs> my gosh, take that any day. All right, put in two more hours. Um, I don't think I dumped the pelts either. I probably should do that. Get the curing underway. I'm going to go ahead and do it, actually. Yeah, probably should. It's doing no use sitting in my inventory. And if we forget them, it's not a huge deal. We just, we, you know, we know where they are, basically. Go ahead and drink up. Um, okay, food's looking good. Food's looking good. I'm going to do two hours. It's really tough, you know, in Dead Man. In other modes, my paranoia is pretty off the charts, as you guys have seen in the uh, Tales from the Far Territory run that we just wrapped up. Temporarily, um, you know, I've got trust issues with sleeping. What can I say? What can I say? I got trust issues with everything in this game. I tell you. 
with the weather, mm, no, I, I'm about to forecast weather for a living in real life, and I have trust issues with this weather in the game. So that says something. I don't know what does. Uh, just coming up to sunrise here. That's good. Put in probably an hour, maybe another one. We'll see. See how the, see how the hour goes. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's going to be cold as heck, so we're going to go ahead and sleep another hour. Um, if we really want to get bold with things, we could read an hour. Um, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of reading in this run. Obviously, reading the cooking books is going to be such a bonus for us. It's going to be such, you know, an advantage in the long run. But, I don't know. Doing them when you have other things to do, like moving and finding food, it's not really appealing to me. But we'll read all the books eventually, just not now. We'll hang on to them, though. Okay. Go ahead and tear that down. Yeah, you love the head wrap, right? I mean, look at that. You know? That's awesome. I mean, it's literally the difference between, you know, freezing and surviving in this cabin. It's really awesome. Um, let's go ahead and just check out what's going on. Step out for the morning. Read the newspaper. It's cold. That's for sure. All right. Um, okay. We don't have a, we don't really have a bad food supply. Um, it's just, you know, a lot of the foods in the twenties, not, not a fan of that really, but it's something we're going to have to live with, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and eat the dog food. I love looking at it in my inventory. It was a source of comfort in this apocalypse, but we have to take it out. Unfortunately. Go ahead and drink some water as well. Look at that. The water goes so fast. It goes so fast. Um, okay. Should drop, yeah, both the cans. Go ahead and drop those. I'm actually going to go ahead and drop the simple tools as well. Not going to need them for a while. And at least we know where they are. I honestly probably should drop the whetstone as well. But I'm not going to do that. We'll keep the whetstone on us. That's fine. Two books. Four books. Total. Okay. Well, blizzard's going on outside. Or not a blizzard, but a pretty good wind event. Yeah, pretty good. So, where to go next, right? Where to go next? It's a, it's a good question, I must say. It's a very good question. Um, and I'm going to say we probably take it to the dam, right? Because we're going to want to start crossing ravine and getting into coastal highway pretty soon. Sooner rather than later, for definitely. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So um, that'll be something we do. I'm gonna just going to go around here real quick. I'm just going to tear down that. We're going to need some cloth anyway. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start a fire. I know. Right? You've probably heard it a lot. Man, I got trust issues with these matches too. We are 14 matches. We're about to be down to 13 here. Um, that's not bad, but, you know, hopefully the dam has matches for us. If it doesn't, you know, that's okay. We're moving on to Coastal Highway anyway. Um, and the odds of us lighting 10 or more fires between now and Coastal Highway is pretty low. It's not zero. It's not zero. We could just get pinned down on every single travel we do. But I would say it's not a 0% chance that that happens. But it's unlikely, to say the least. So we'll go ahead and just take it in stride. We'll keep doing the torch method. We'll light the torch and then light the fire. That way, if we fail, we still have the torch and we can light the fire again without spending a match. So that is the key. Um, okay, those are good. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a little bit of water. A little bit, not too much though. Um, I'll go ahead and make the rose hips too. Getting another buff on the, on the ready is always awesome. That was a good thing to do. Oh, nice, we have herbal tea as well. My gosh, why didn't I just use that? Live and learn. You do. Okay. 30 minutes. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and put on... Uh, actually, I think we're fine for now. So it's not travel weather, basically, to say the least. Not travel weather at all. Uh, okay, I can do 10 minutes, I think, of a breakdown here. 10 minutes of tinder making, that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, drop that for sure. I'm going to keep that. I don't want to drink it as a buff because 
we're gonna need it if we get food poisoning. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make another a coffee there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make it herbal tea as well. Put that there, that way we have three buffs on the go. Three teas, so in case we do get into that bind, we are good to go. We still have these, right? We still have those. That's probably better right now, actually. Yeah, they're much better. Go ahead and put those on. We're going to keep these, though. We're going to repair them eventually, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, eventually. All right, six till ready. Awesome. Well, let's get that down. So we got a rose hip and a coffee. And we have a herbal tea as well. Good. I like that. And that's all 110 calories, uh, thanks to cooking too. So that's all good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and chuck a reclaimed on. Nothing crazy. Um, I would love to break that down, but I don't know. I don't know. Probably shouldn't. Any crates though? Any existing crates we can break down? I would love to break down a crate. Maybe we broke them all. That's all right. Let's just go ahead and take a peek outside. What's going on? Hey, that's not a bad day. That's not a bad travel day. To be honest. Um, just take a little step out here. Yeah. Actually, you know, that's... <laughs> gotta be honest. That's not bad. Not bad at all. No bedroll, though, unfortunately. Um, so one thing we could do is actually go down that way. It's where we hear the wolves, unfortunately, but... We could go down that way. See if we can find a bedroll in the Allen's Cave vicinity. See if we can get a little lucky. But, you know, it's just I don't want to get caught up in that stuff. I just really want to get to the dam, focus on what we got to do. Um, and that be that, you know. We'll find the bedroll eventually. We're bound to. It'll be on the travels, right? Um, so. Yeah. Let's go ahead and hop back in here. Probably going to sleep an hour or two, just until the weather's good. Um, we can keep stoking the fire. It's fine. I don't really mind. 45 minutes. Should be okay. But we'll probably travel at night. Yeah, 45 minutes should be fine. Let's go ahead and put another stick on. That way we have enough. Break that down. Nice and warm now. Cool. Um, okay. An hour and eight minutes. I'm going to go ahead and sleep an hour. Just got to get our um, our energy back up, you know. That shouldn't have gone out. Yeah, we got a few minutes left on that. All right, put one more in. That's enough to think about what we want to do for when we come back up here. Just want to take a peek and see what the weather's like outside. Let's eat a little bit first. Yeah, you know, the, the incentive for food really keeps you going. It really keeps you going. And we're going to want to take some cattails, too, on the lake near the dam, on that little river. We're going to want to get some food there as well. So um, that's all going to be something to think about for sure. But we'll have to see how that goes. I accidentally drank too much water. Probably didn't want to do that. Oh, this is good travel weather. All right, let's go in here um, just for a save because we are kind of coming up to time here. Um, the next leg is going to be making it to the dam. So... By the time next episode comes around, we'll go ahead and grab our buffs, get the fire, get the torches from the fire, rather, and we'll head on our way. Super, super awesome travel weather outside. So that's going to be really awesome. But again, that's probably going to be something for next episode. So if you guys made it this far, um, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I really hope you're enjoying it. Um, it's been a really fun series so far. Super stressful. Super, super stressful. But hey, that's what we wanted, right? That's what we're going to get ourselves into <laughs> and hopefully out of eventually. So if you made it this far, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.